Now let's continue into our acquisition tab. The first thing we'll see is the acquisition mode where we can control which dimensions will be included in our experiment. Here, all the ones that are selected will be highlighted in red. When you add an additional dimension, the new dialog appears in the list below, and you can address that dialog to assure that it's capturing the range within the dimension that you'd like. Beneath that, we have our imaging control window, where our camera's exposure time, gain, and settings can all be accessed. These can be either identical across multiple channels or customized for each of the channels that you've set up. Beneath that, we also have our illumination settings. On this system, we've got some automated excitation control, so I can control the amount of light that's hitting my sample. We also have our magnification control. Since there's a motorized nose piece on this microscope, I can click and change between different objectives. Some systems aren't motorized, but are encoded, in which case you'll be able to easily see your objective being displayed here, but you'll have to reach over to the scope and manually change them. We also have access to environmental controls, project settings, a calibration wizard, memory functions, and the ability to do a live stream recording directly here within the acquisition tab.